Hello and welcome to Snooker with a Twist. Every time one of us pots a ball, we have a, a little chart of whatever forfeit we need to do, which are, the majority of them will be embarrassing stories. Um, would you like the honours of breaking or shall I? Uh, I'll break. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure what the, like how this is going to look because we only have one camera angle. Oh, a genteel start. Nice gentle start. Yeah. Right, okay, Brad. So red, for everyone who doesn't know, red is just a nice little mild confession. Uh, well, I guess I'll start with the example one I used before we started the table. Uh, Adam and I, uh, before we played this, we were out at Weatherspoons having food, and uh, despite the fact that I'm a 31-year-old man, I managed to spill sauce on myself, not once, not twice, but three times. I changed my shirt because I was covered in sauce. That is true. Okay, so the, if anyone knows snooker values, the black ball is the highest value ball. And that category, Brad, if I pot the black, is an embarrassing sex story. Yeah. It, it, I am it, just disregarding these colours. This is the ball that I want. It doesn't specifically have to be sex with other people. It's just, it's just a sexually based story. No pot there. Back onto the reds. Shit. I was going to say, don't you don't start playing bloody safety. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It's Sexy. coming. A nice mild confession, I can smell it. No, no fuego, mate. Damn. Let's set him up. the door open. <gasps> if they were regulation pockets, that would have gone in. <laughs> this is the most thought you've ever put into a game of snooker. <laughs> Fucking lights in the way. That's a shame. That was a red. It was indeed. I once had an illness. It's just a, it's just a mild one, don't worry. Where I thought I had a hernia, it turned out I was scratched by my cat and that infected me. My hernia turned into a fucking cat scratch disease. Uh, I'm going to aim for the blue. Uh, the blue will be a childhood embarrassing story. Okay. Oh. <laughs> the white and the red nearly went in then. That was three almost pots. <laughs> this table is the ultimate equaliser for me. So it doesn't play quite like a normal table, which no, means, it means that it, Adam isn't... It really doesn't. Adam isn't, like, amazingly good. Nice this is a red. At least let me think before you shoot. Just, I'm just getting him lined up, mate. <laughs> was green a story from a night out I've got, I've got to do a mild one first yep i haven't purchased any socks of my own in i'm pretty sure my entire adult life my mum still buys them for me at christmas <laughs> that is pretty embarrassing <laughs> yep um and then a story from a night out uh, first year of uni i bought a chicken and chips takeaway and when I got back to my accommodation, I like I had to get the little cards to get into the building. Yeah. And as I was doing this, I dropped it on the floor, did a quick, scooped it back up, went in, uh, ate what was probably like 90% of it, woke up in the morning, and then when I looked at the remains, it was covered in grit, which means I'd spent a drunken night eating stone. <laughs> Eat stone? Yeah. <laughs> You want to give it a fucking rest, mate? Ah, <laughs> oh, uh, something mild. Just just let you know, I am quite happy with the position on the black. <laughs> uh, so I currently have fruit flies in my flat because I was ill with COVID over the past like couple of weeks and just gave up looking after myself. Why did you bring up the fruit flies? No, what I mean is... <laughs> No, what I mean is... That, <laughs> I think I missed, I, I missed a detail out. Uh, my flat was in disarray. Fuck. Sex story. Ah, <laughs> oh, some kind of sexual story. Oh God, there's the one that I um, I told in the Discord that like nearly killed Liv. You carry on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> when I was a kid, I thought I'd invented masturbation. Uh, yeah, I know this story. I am. Um, I thought that no one else had ever done it before, and I'd invented it. And it wasn't. It wasn't until. <laughs> 
<laughs> it wasn't until I uh, did sex ed class when they taught us what it was, and I was like, oh, that's what it is. I thought it was my special thing. My um, nephew doesn't watch any of my YouTube videos because he said, and I quote, Brad, you're boring. Right, I'm on the black. Don't you fucking dare. It's a tricky black. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Near foul. Uh, I go. actually get a go now. Yeah, you can have a turn. A mild confession. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I was just appreciating how close that black I'll let you think <laughs> no, of your... Yeah, yeah, didn't see that. <laughs> I'll let you think of your mild one. Okay, uh, my mild confession is that um, I had my first beer at 17 years old. It's not that embarrassing. Well, I guess it is from someone from Yorkshire. I have never tried so hard to get a shot. Are we even counting the scores? No, we'll no. just fight for this. My embarrassing sex story, I'm having to this so I can see my head's on camera. I'm at Brad height now. <laughs> uh, when I was about 21, uh, me and my girlfriend at the time were upstairs getting a little bit frisky and it was at that point when you know she had little on i had my boxers on and i heard the footsteps of my mum walking up the stairs to talk to us so all i did is remember just grabbing her throwing her on the bed throwing the duvet on her and just fucking taking it like a champ of my mum coming upstairs seeing me with a boner in my boxer <laughs> shorts i just went I'm, I'm sorry. That's literally all I said. <laughs> what else can I do? Oh, look at this. <laughs> <sighs> Every time uh, I've been out drinking with Carl and he's been recognised, I will always mill around that person, even when like the conversation's finished, hoping they'll recognise me. That's it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Right, get your childhood story ready, Brad. There you go. <sighs> this is very much turned into Brad's life story with the odd one chipped in by me. <laughs> just, just gonna tell you, my next shot will be this red into there, leaving me on the black. <sighs> so along the lines of the, me thinking that I invented masturbation, Yep. Uh, another thing that I also thought was that, so if anybody doesn't know, I have a condition called situs inversus, which means that my organs are the opposite way around. So my heart's on the right. And um, I got it really into my head when I was younger that it was because it's a mutation and that evolution is caused by mutation. A young Brad thought he was the next step of evolution. <laughs> to the point where I gave it a name. Right. So we, uh, human beings are homo sapiens sapiens. That's, that, that's the official name. Yep. So I was the homo tri-sapien. And that's your new Twitter name. <laughs> right, sorry everyone that you might not see this shot, but... Oh! oh! So uh, just, just for your information, I'm going to put this one in here, and then I'm going to have a right little go at that one. Alright, don't follow in. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> I've gone too far. <laughs> I have to go somewhere I've always else. gone too far. Uh, a mild confession. I thought I invented goldfish. What? <laughs> so my mum used I thought to you have invented a... goldfish. My mum used to have an aquatic shop. Yeah. When when I had to been about seven, and yeah, like they got all these fish and they didn't have like names on. So I I can't I can't remember what I called it. Unlucky. Um, but I remember seeing a goldfish, and thinking, oh, it's not got a name, so no one's named it yet. So I named it something. But I can't remember what. But I thought. No one had ever seen goldfish before. Turns out they had. Oh, I'm hoping I don't foul. I'm the most likely of us to foul. Shit! Ooh. Shit! <laughs> you saw what shot I played, didn't you? <laughs> I'm running out of little things. <laughs> Chuck something big in there. <laughs> no. All right, here, here's a mildly embarrassing one. Adam and I went on holiday a couple of weeks back and um, I got a pretty bad rash on my balls. I mean, I, I can add to this story in there to embarrass Adam by just saying that he saw it. I showed Adam my balls. It wasn't pleasant, was it? Sex story. Ah, God, okay. Like, all the ones that come to mind aren't like with other people. The one, the one I'm thinking of now 
is the time I almost came in my pants when I was doing a paper round. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I don't I, need to give the context. <laughs> It was, it was literally, all it was, was that I was at that age when I was like, you know, you get boners all the time and you're, you're thinking about sex a lot. Yeah. And I was bored of my paper round, so I was thinking quite a lot about sex. And I was rubbing on the inside of my pants and I realised quite like, uh, like late on during this that if I'd continued to think about these things, I may have accidentally come in my pants in my, on my paper round. Am I going to have to age restrict this video? No. If, at least if I miss this one, I'll hit the one behind it. Or not, apparently! That is a foul. <laughs> so, Brad. So the rules for the foul, Adam's going to give me a dare. If I don't want to do it, I'll have to do half a shot of something. Let's make it something simple. Don't take the piss. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice, easy one, Brad. So here's a cap. Yep. Put it on. Before every shot, you have to turn it like the Pokemon's going to, like, Ash Ketchum's going to catch a Pokemon. This isn't a dare, this is a series of dares. If you forget, you drink. I'm just going to put this red in the pocket, if that's okay. Wait, wait, wait. No, it's yours, isn't it? <laughs> I forgot what had happened. I guess some of this mildly embarrassing is I've now been single for about five years. Yeah. Yeah. Got COVID. You can't really date during COVID. Oh. A mild embarrassment for Adam. You've got a long way to go yet, buddy. <laughs> uh, a mild embarrassing story for me. I once took someone on a first date to my nanny granddad's house. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We just went to my nanny granddad's house and just went like, played on the computer. That was the first date. Oh, so sweet. Ah, oh, shit! Also, anyone uh, see Brad turn his hat round? Oh, fuck! <laughs> Time to drink! <laughs> you can take that off now. You failed. I guess Sailor Jerry's rum. What, did you just pot some out? Yep. What did you pot? <laughs> just a red. Cheers! <laughs> and a mild confession, please, Mr. Rawlinson. Uh, once when I was at a friend's house, I was the one in charge of cooking the meal for everybody. Yeah. And there was no sugar, so I used cordial, as in squash. Yeah, I know what cordial yeah. is. I'm just trying to figure it out. <laughs> I used that because I was like, oh, I want to make it a bit sweeter and there's no sugar. It was fucking disgusting. Yep. <laughs> What's brown? Is it work? Brown is a work embarrassing story. I once... Um, just say, just say the obvious one. <laughs> Which one's the obvious one? The shit. Oh no, because that I mean that's already out there. <laughs> no, I once, I once twisted my ankle when I was at B and Q because um, I was trying to be cool by climbing up the piles of compost in order to uh, wait. No, that's not the worst one. Sorry, no. Let me, let me change this one. Um, the, uh, the other one is um, I ripped my trousers open trying to be cool. Like, I clearly was trying to be cool at B and Q. And when I was in the outside area, you could go underneath the railings to get from one aisle to the next. And I did that by grabbing hold of the railings and swinging under. And when I jumped out, I tore my groin on my trousers, massive, open. And I had to spend the rest of the shift walking around like this so that people didn't see that my fucking... So I think I was wearing like bright blue boxers. Yeah. Oh, he's left the door open. I got sacked from my first job at a paper round <laughs> because I didn't like a guy who I had to deliver to. So I put his paper in a puddle outside his door. <laughs> Classic. I'm never getting that fucking one in, am I? Well, again. <laughs> Swung away. How do you do that thing where you make it spin? That's in like right. Um, I don't think that's going to work on this table, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> you nearly got away with it. <laughs> so, another punishment for Brad. <laughs> Open your door and just go, hello, and shut the door. Where are my keys? <laughs> just so you know, Brad's only just moved into this apartment, so doesn't want to upset his neighbours. That's why it's going to be funny. Hope none of them are out there. <laughs> 
That's the first proper <laughs> impression they get of me. I think I'm okay. Hello! <laughs> oh, that's straight in as well. Thanks. Alright, here's something mild. Uh, over there in the corner of the room are loads of bundles of cardboard from when I moved in that are still there. I moved in two months ago. Ambitious. Oh, Ooh. too much. <laughs> one final red, one final mild. Tactically. I'm running out of things. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That would have worked on a proper table. Yep. A mild confession. So my mild confession is that I once had a vegan sausage roll and thought it was actually okay. <laughs> what a crime. That's a meat eater that I am. <laughs> you just go for a long black, aren't you? Yeah. Though? And he missed it again. You've snookered me. I have snookered you though. So now oh. we're on to the colours, so if anyone's not familiar with the game of Snook Air, uh, you have to pot things in an order. So the first ball is yellow, followed by green, brown, blue, pink, black. Um, so I have to hit the yellow. Nice shot. Oof. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll get your uh, punishment ready, Brad. <laughs> yep. I'm not even going to contest, you may as well. Oh! Drink two drips. This is Henderson's Relish. Yep. A famous sauce up in Sheffield that is mainly for pies. <laughs> Taste it already. <laughs> I did this in a fact theme video, Brad. You can do it. It's actually not that bad. <laughs> I made more of a <laughs> made more of a mess of that than I should have done. Oh, oh, the door is open. This fucking light is gonna stop me from getting this shot though. Yeah, the light, yeah. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> sake! <laughs> I'm fully blaming that light. <laughs> Serious light. Like, you try and take a shot with this thing in the way. <laughs> I want you just to tweet the word with no context, no gifts, just the word. Italians. <sighs> Nothing wrong with that. There's no offence or anything. No, but people are going to infer shit from that. <laughs> it's only the word Italians. Yeah, but then people are like, why is he writing Italians? And they think the worst case scenario. Either it's racist or I'm looking for porn. <laughs> I'm doing the shot. Fuck right, it. I'm not. Shot. <laughs> While you're getting your shot, I will play the yellow ball. Did it go in? Um, no, but you are snookered. <laughs> Adam's a dick. Blue Curacao, very nice. Oh, your tongue's blue. <laughs> right. You can hit this yellow, it's easy enough to get out of. Oh, I'm not, I'm not sure about this way around. <laughs> Why did that get air? <laughs> Fill your mouth with your beer or your cider and put one random Tang Fastics in it and eat the Tang Fastics through the cider and then drink the cider. It's going to be the fizziest thing ever. <laughs> mm. Is it fizzy? <laughs> That's the yellow. Is so ye yellow ball is a, uh, not a mild, but a more common confession I think that everyone can relate to. I didn't realise what you meant when you said it was going to be really fizzy and then my, my mouth just frothed up. <laughs> ah. Stop, let me think. <laughs> Have you ever shat yourself? Uh, yeah, no, so here, I, so I shat myself when I was 18. There you go. That's it. Right, well, next. yeah, it was, it was. I thought. I thought it was a fart. All right, Will. <laughs> right, I'm just checking the camera. They can't see this. You just have to trust. 
Oh, he's fucking done it as well. Uh, green is something from a night out. <laughs> Just to make you aware, brown's next. Oh, fuck's <laughs> sake! <laughs> Why did I agree to this? Um, something from a night out. I did. I turned down a threesome once. Yeah. Oh! Chris Pratt face. <laughs> oh! I can't believe I did that. I could have fucking cleared up. Am I snookered? No. You can't get it in, but you're not see you're snookered. <laughs> That could have been worse. <laughs> that could have been much worse. <laughs> the fucking light. That's oh, weird, isn't it? It's almost like the light's in the way. So where we're breaking all the rules that we know. I'm out of control. We're rocking, we rule. Brown? Uh, Brown is a work story. A work story. So um, this is a confession that might get me actually in trouble if anyone from my old workplace watches this, which... Un unlikely. Yeah. Um, so I used to work on a beer delivery team, so we'd get in on a Friday at 7am, there was always two of us, and we'd have to load the beers into the cellar. And this is an entertainment menu of two and a half thousand people, so it's a lot of people. And yeah, um, we get thirsty on the shift, <laughs> and uh, we used to, they used to have little cans of Monster. So we'd put delivery away, quick take a knee for a few minutes, have a can of Monster, and then we tucked it under a blue pallet. So that was that. After about four months of every shift, <laughs> just kind of monster, kind of monster, yep, no worries, between two or three of us, just all tucked under this blue pallet, um, I got called to the office. And I they just literally said, you all right? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they just put this like plastic bag of empty monster cans on the table and went, do you know, do you know anything about this? So I said, meh. <laughs> <laughs> I actually knew. <laughs> Good luck. God fucking Christ, if people didn't see that because I was stood in the way, the ping just went in. <laughs> right, Brad, you, you're forfeit. Let me chalk your nose. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Yes! Head's gone. Ever since I missed that brown, I've been shy. Now it's my time to shine. What is blue? Blue. Blue. Blue is a, ch a childhood story. <laughs> Just... <laughs> <laughs> childhood story. <laughs> it's the perfect mark. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so... Uh, this is the worst excuse I think uh, anyone has ever made. So, <laughs> I can't take you serious. Like, I'm not looking at you. So, I went on like, you know, like a summer camp. And we went to Keswick. No, no. Yeah, we went to Keswick. Uh, and Keswick's near uh, where I come from. Yeah. Cheers, Brad. Yeah. And while we were there, uh, we all got put... Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> we were all about, about nine, ten years old. And we all went into little dorms. And I was with this lad called Ethan. And one day I had a particularly dodgy tummy and had a poo in my pants. <laughs> Embarrassing enough. But then um, I put that shitty pair of pants in my suitcase. Didn't want to say anything, didn't want them to be a fuss. But everyone knew that I wasn't very well. And then everyone was really excited because if you looked out of all these dorm windows, there were loads of bats. Loads of bats, you know, everywhere. Um, what I didn't know was that in my panic of putting pants in the suitcase, I'd left skids on the floor. So they just, I don't know if it came out of the pants or if my pants brushed the floor, but there were skids on the floor. And after a while, Ethan went, oh, what's that? And I noticed this line of shit towards my suitcase. And I just said around and my excuse was, I think a bat shat through the window. <laughs> And then he, he ended up like the next morning. He said he had a look in my case and saw him, and he won't tell anyone. The pink's an awful one. It's something that is going to embarrass our lovers. No, it's a loved one. A loved one. Yes. You're going to clear up. When I was about 
17 and you know you're, you're at that age you start experimenting and you you know you get <laughs> it's the perfect teardrop <laughs> <laughs> uh, you get excited um my fetish and i don't know why was to run outside naked i'd literally just oh go downstairs take my clothes off open the door run in the garden run back inside put my clothes back on and so, he hasn't changed a bit. So, Mum, I am sorry if you were woken at about 3 a.m. quite a lot, because that was me opening the door. <laughs> wow. Please fucking miss. Damn it! Oh, that's way too easy. <laughs> oh, God, I need to start thinking. Christ. The final ball. And it's a sex story from Brad. <sighs> also, can we just get the score here? <laughs> Yeah, I have no idea. I think I won. I think you probably did win. I followed like four or five times. And you had a lot of mild confessions. I did have a lot of mild confessions. <laughs> fucking knows. <laughs> That's the greatest punishment. <laughs> all the ones I can think of are all to do with just me doing stuff on my own. Um, and the reason for that is because I'm still friends with most of the people I've been in a relationship with. And I don't want to dob anyone in. So the only thing I can think of, which is actually super embarrassing, is I used to draw my own porn when I was a teenager. And when I say that, I can't draw. So I would draw what was basically a really shitly drawn outline of a woman, cut a hole in it. <laughs> I'll, oh, let, no. I'll let you finish it yourself. You used to use it as a fuck hole, didn't you? <laughs> But well, yeah, right, everyone, that has been Confession. Confession, I'd snooker something? confession. Well, I don't know what we'll call it. The title will be somewhere. Um, if people enjoyed this little fun little game, we can do something like this again. I feel like we need a game that you're more suited to. <laughs> well, I mean, people, it's my channel. People like watch me fuck up, don't they? <laughs> um, <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to go to a racing simulator next week. <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> uh, you know, if people want to see more stuff like this, then obviously let us know. Um, and we hope that this has given people a little insight into uh, into us and our existences. And I'd like to say I'm very sorry to my mother and grandmother who tend to watch these videos. Au revoir. <laughs>